fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Guys, what's up? Scott Lennox here, and you know the man, the myth, the legend, Big Bird Cropper. He is back with us. It's time to do our spring trip here at Hooked on OC. We're going to do some rock fishing. We're going to over hit the South Jetty, try a couple of things, throw in the thingamajig and throw in the Roy rig. Stay tuned after the break. It's Big Bird Cropper here at Hooked on OC. We'll see you in a second. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Storm has the area's largest selection of girls' clothing. 10,000 square feet of girls' surfwear featuring Billabong, Roxy, Volcom, O'Neill, and Ruka, and swimwear by L Space and Magi, and many more. By far the largest selection of girls' surfwear that you need to be seen in this summer. Quiet Storm Surf Shop Boardwalk at North Division Street, right next to the Ocean City Arch. Ocean City is looking for people with experience, people with ambition, people who entertain new ideas and explore new paths, working in tandem for a common goal, people who love life and think different. Explore the possibilities. Ocean City welcomes you. Find your calling at ococean.com slash calling. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Oh, let's see what happens. Here we go. First dance we go. Upstream. I'm using ultralight. Nothing to brag about is to get the skunk off the boat. And it's a shad. Oh, that's a big shad. Yeah, look at the sun. Now I want what's eating that. That's exactly right. <laughs> Beautiful. Exactly right. But they're fun. Loads of fun. There's a ton of them down there too. Oh, if they come in today, we'll go catch two at a time. Yeah, we'll go catch them two at a time on those spec rigs and stuff, or tie a couple of these tandem or something. But you're not allowed to keep shad. Uh, there's a moratorium on shad. You're not allowed to harvest them at all, even for bait, anything like that. Um, but there are a ton of them down here. Usually show up sometime late April, the same they did this year. And then when they get into the inlet, they can be a real inshore charter saver, man. The guys that are down here fishing inshore, you know, Lucky Break, Ocean City Guide Service, Bayside Guide Service, Saltwater Adventures, those guys are fishing back here in the bays. And if the water gets dirty and the flounder aren't biting, Shad can save the afternoon. Yeah, they're huge. 
and when you're getting two at a time and later on in the year in about another two weeks you'll catch a shad on one hook and a bluefish on another hook any day <laughs> what is it today 54 degree water temp right now and it's a good incoming tide so give us a few more shots have you been around 50 bridge any this year yeah be careful it is filled in i heard that i heard you can't get across the other side yeah you can but you gotta be real tight with the bridge. that one spot yeah but on the hooper side, where the angle is, man, it has filled in. I mean, it's, if you can't do two foot, don't go up in there. And acetic's disappearing. Jeez. All right, let's give it a try. There he is. Yep. Get in the middle of the break. Absolutely. Nice. Look at that in that water. That ain't no diapers, driver. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh. oh, the pressure's off now. The pressure's That's fish. Rock fish in the boat. Yeah. Don't see no don't see no sea lice. Yeah. So much fun. Boom! Birds got, got me on size by a little bit. This was probably eh, 18 or so. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at that, look at that kind of incandescent blue color they've got underneath those scales. That is gorgeous, man. You can catch just a little bit of when the light hits it just right. And I'll tell you one thing, when I'm fishing with big bird, <laughs> it always reminds me, be real, real careful of these spines. <laughs> That is an expensive endeavor. Watch how respectful this is. Won't happen all the time. Got it. Oh, I don't know how. There you got it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's jumping. We got a jumper. Yeah, I'm really liking this combo. There you go, you're bringing it. You're good, keep it going. Yeah. Yeah, keep right here. Oh. He's gone under the boat, Chief. Yeah, Ooh. brother. Yeah, brother. So I remember from last year, Bird and I came out and did this. This green thingamajig was hot for me. It was really, really good. I had a couple of fish that were just shy of keeper size by like a half an inch. Um, so I've switched from the one I was using up at Route 90. I'm trying this green one today. And sure enough, found a couple of fish over here. Bird's got them on the Roy. And the thingamajig is, is catching them too. Nice fish, man. Really nice and fat, healthy ones. And fun, buddy. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Top Dog Services has the largest fleet of snow removal equipment in all of North America. With several sizes of tree can snow melters, no job is too large. 
Top Dog's fleet is ready to mobilize to clear and melt snow on site at any college, stadium, hospital, shopping mall, or other large-scale facility. Top Dog Services currently provides snow removal and melting services for Dulles International, Reagan National, the U.S. Pentagon, and many others. Watch your winter worries go down the drain. Call Top Dog Services for 24-hour emergency snow response. Hi, it's Todd from Park Place Jewelers. We would love to help you celebrate all those special moments and occasions in your life. A new engagement or an anniversary celebration, an incredible accomplishment, a cherished moment, a lifelong memory, landmark occasions, or a treat yourself present. So let Park Place Jewelers put a sparkle in your life with a gift of fine jewelry. Improve your vision, improve your life. Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. An Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. That's one. Man, these fish are fun to catch. Switch sides, bird. Yeah, buddy. On him. Nobody drives their boat better. Manipulating this current and stuff here at the Route 50 bridge than Big Bird Cropper. You know, two ways about it. I'm gonna like to see if they see that blue I was talking about a little bit before. Little kind of blue purplish hues that run through his scales. They're underneath the top layer of scales. That's beautiful, man. Maryland State fish. Hit you with the regulations for now. Things might be changing. Rockfish aren't doing all that great right now. So, over here on the coast, they're different on the Chesapeake Bay. Get this question all the time. Hey, why'd they keep those, those rockfish over there at a certain size? Over here on the coast, rockfish are allowed to keep one fish per person between 28 inches and 35 inches. That's it. There's a, what we call a slot. Fish has got to be at least 28 inches, but he can't be over 35 inches. Otherwise, it can't be kept. So that little seven-inch span there falls in that spot. You're allowed to keep them. And these aren't there. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. It's a dink. It's about as big as we saw. Maybe, maybe an inch yeah. bigger than that, but not much bigger than that. These fish down here are just a little bit bigger. Oh, they get big. They get real big. Main difference between Route 90 and Route 50 is you guys watch any of those Route 90 shows that we did, you're going to rarely see a keeper up there, if ever. Um, it just doesn't really happen much. Verrazano Bridge, different story. 
Uh, sometimes in the fall you can see some larger fish down there, but Route 90 just doesn't see them that much. Route 50, however, Big Bird is a pro at it. You can see these little fish anywhere from 12 to 20 inches, but you do some dredging using uh, the technique where he puts a sinker on his line and uses a Roy rig. Even the thingamajig over on the sandbar sometimes, we can get those fish that are 28 inches. Um, and we saw one on the Route 50 bridge just a week or two ago that was in my fishing report. Guy caught on a shad. It was a, probably a one ounce head, I think he said, and a five inch shad. That fish was pushing 50 inches. Obviously had to be released. I just told you what the limits were, but that fish was pushing 50 inches and probably 35 pounds caught on the Route 50 bridge. Took two of them to pull it up with the net. Yeah, yeah. Morgan told me the one he caught the nice 34 or 35 or something he caught last week. He had to call his girlfriend because it was so windy and the current was so strong. He just couldn't get it in the net by himself. And there was nobody else up there because the conditions were terrible. Oh, boy, fish is in a hurricane. Yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, dude. I love these angled pilings, man. I was just getting ready to say that before I caught this fish. Down here toward the west side, there's a couple of piling sets that run angular to the bridge rather than perpendicular to the bridge. You know, they, they run more of like a 45 rather than straight back. Um, and we've gotten to one of those sets right now. And for whatever reason, these fish love hanging out behind those sets because the current just hits them differently. Look at that, there's a bird with one right on too. One in the foreground and one coming in the background. The Yeah, bird, look, you know what we gotta do. Oh, I gotta drive. <laughs> you drive, you drive, I'll take care of this. Bird, hold him up, ready? Yeah! John, you get in here too, look. Yeah! <laughs> That's where we'll remind you folks, hookedonoc.com for all the episodes of the show. Make sure you follow us on social media. That's where we put all this stuff. Instagram, Hooked on OC. Instagram, I fish in OC. And both on Facebook, Fish in OC and Hooked on OC. All the stuff that we do. Make sure you follow us. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Midshore Electronics offers a team of Garmin factory trained technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification, or repair. No project is too small. With locations in Cambridge and Ocean City, Midshore is Delmarva's only Garmin service center. Midshore provides the most innovative marine electronic solutions available, and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Luke and Laura from Sandmarks Marketing. Brand new book out this summer. Luke, tell me about it. Thank you, Scott. Destination Ocean City and Delaware Beaches has all the fun, cool family stuff, including dining, shopping, attractions, golf, and surfing. Don't forget fishing. <laughs> That's fishing awesome. Too, That's awesome. Scott. And you can find it all around town, I guess. You can. Look in your hotel room, look for the beach chair. And you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. And 
the summertime, if you try this kind of stuff, people are like, look at those idiots, they're snagged. Be ready, it's gonna be it's a quick. That's I know, it's like bam, too. Yeah, 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 don't let go around. <laughs> That's the one uh, Dasha did for me, for a joke. I don't know if that was a bumper, it ran into the bottom, but it definitely changed. How deep is it? 30 foot. Must have got bumped. Yeah. Didn't, didn't hook nothing, but it, it definitely changed. All right, you can see this technique we're trying. Um, we've been successful with it in the past. Matter of fact, the fish that we caught last year that I had to get my, the spine removed from my thumb was a fish that we caught that was a keeper on on doing this technique, which which Bird calls dredging. Uh, it's basically putting this bad boy down there, stretch 15s, 20s, 25s. You don't want to go over that because it doesn't get much deeper than that. But basically, what this does is this bait is designed so that this lip on the front hits the water and then dives down to the bottom. The, the surface tension as the water hits this pulls this down to the bottom. It gets to a certain depth based on the scope of the line and it will stay pretty much at that depth unless you do something to change that which would be jerk it a little harder and it'll move down or let it sit and it'll kind of float up and then come back down so you want to do some kind of action to get it making different patterns as we go through the bridge just got a little bump um, but bird's been fishing this a couple of times this year no keepers so far but he has caught some fish on it but that's basically the technique in a nutshell and because we don't have enough current today we're going to have to use the boat to make this happen for us. A lot of times when the bridge has got enough current going by it, you can just kind of sit there in the current, drop it down, and it'll go back there and do the work for you. But we don't have much current today, so we're going to have to use the boat, try and pull it through, see if we can get a bite. And you can see the rod, the tension that that lip is putting on it because it's digging into that water so hard and digging to the bottom that it puts a lot of tension on the rod. So you can't do this with like lightweight tackle. This is when, Bird, when we switched to doing this, Bird said we're going to break out the big boys, and that's what we're doing now because we got to have a rod with a lot of backbone, plenty of line on the reel, and a reel that can handle, a, you know, 40 pound braid instead of 15 or 20 like we're using on the other stuff. Yeah, that's 50 pounds. 50 pound on here now, yeah. And Sean has gone to 80. 80. Well, the great thing about 80 pound braid is it's only the, you know, thickness of like 30 pound mono, exactly. if that. Yeah. Exactly. And then when you're dealing with these bottles. I don't recommend doing this either because most of the time it's a dozen bridge fish in Yeah, because you never know when you might come out on a bridge guy. You really feel that thing down there digging too. There he is. <laughs> Man, do I love that we got that on film. <laughs> there he is. And like you said, I don't know if he's swimming toward me or it doesn't feel like much though. There he is. You got yeah, him right on the surface. Yep. Probably got him foul hooked up. Might be. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, man, it's an exciting bite, that's for sure. They come oh, in way easier. They this, hit, this is way easier than it is bringing in the, just the lure by itself. Oh yeah. Can we go to the other side? Sure. Wait a minute. Stay right there. Yeah, stay right there. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, already switched. Good. Uh, we're still good. There he is. Yeah. Bring it. Oh, oh there we go. that's all right. We get the old bimini release. Not a keeper, like Bird said. Oh. These fish aren't keeper size, but that was a 26 inch fish, probably, uh, rather than the 20s and 22s that we were catching on the Roy rigs and the thingamajigs. 
And like I say, that's a pretty exciting bite bird. We haven't done it that way before. That was pretty neat. Um, so as I explained that technique, we'll usually just sit here at the bridge like we are right now and drop it back there. And if the current's strong enough, it'll pull it back there, get it down to the bottom where we want it. But we don't have that today. We're at the top of the high tide. It's the last part of the incoming tide. So we had to use the boat to pull through there and do that kind of thing. And on our second attempt, we hook a fish and catch one. Nice work, brother. <laughs> nice work. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. For over 40 years, the Dough Roller has been an Ocean City tradition. Serving award-winning fresh dough pizza and our signature buttermilk pancakes served all day. Visit our website for menus, location details, and hours. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends. All our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva and the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan pontoon boat dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. 6G. Network. 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 We've had Arizona for over six years. In the beginning, we knew that this was gonna make a difference, but we didn't realize how big of a difference it was gonna make. I think our staff enjoy being able to have that option to sanitize their classroom. We actually didn't realize exactly how many people would enroll in our school just because we had Arizona. So just the fact that they know that we're doing everything we can to make sure we're cutting out those germs in the classroom. That is what's best for the kids. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Guess what? Oh, that's a trifecta, buddy. <laughs> trifecta. Oh, there you go. That's a blue. <laughs> that's a blue. <laughs> you don't want that piece back. It's not going to be a good thing. Just throw the trash. But there he is, folks. Bluefish. First couple fish of the season. Take that. Fi up. Take my finger right off right there if didn't, you wanted to. Didn't Morgan catch the first bluefish of the season with you? Yeah. A couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. Guess where? Right <laughs> yeah, right here. Yeah. We usually get, like I said, we usually get them on that south side. We've got a few, but from the big hump to the dog side, it's been pretty good. Yeah. I mean. That's the downside to a bluefish, what Bird just went through. Those guys have such strong teeth, such sharp teeth, they will do damage to rubber plastic uh, baits, man. Um, this I bounced off the bridge a couple times, that's why that's discolored. But when you get the bluefish and he gets this, a lot of times you'll get that dump, bump, and it's gone, you reel it up, and the back half of it is just gone. They know right where the edge of that they hook is. They know right where the hook is. Bird was unfortunate enough to get it all the way back in here, and that fish clamped down at the last minute when he got a hold of him and pulled his tail and broke it right off. Um, but that's why we put extra shads in the packaging. And yeah, I've been keeping a lot more of the blues. I threw that one back, but um, I, my blues go to the National Aquarium now. Oh, what's going on there? Um, for their sharks. Oh, okay, to feed, feed the, the sharks. sharks. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I was just gonna say, bluefish make an awesome uh, mako bait, but you can't keep a mako for the next two years. So that's why I'm Bahia is having a bluefish tournament this year. 
hot dog, can't we? As Sean said the sandbar weren't doing very well last night. Favorite fishing lure of the Re 50 bridge. Got gotcha, you, please. Hang right up there on it. Yeah! Yeah, buddy. Yee! Ah, I just got crushed. This bottom. You can tell the difference when you get as experienced as Big Bird is, and I'm getting better at it too but you can tell the difference between the bottom and a bite pretty easily once you get used to it. You want to be, you want like what we're doing right now is we're retrieving these really, really slowly. The water's still chilly. We're only in the mid 50s still. So the fish are very lethargic. They're sitting down on the bottom. They're sitting behind these pilings, that sort of thing. And they're just back there in the current, just like this. Current's not moving very fast. They're, they're expelling as little energy as possible. So you got to get it really, you got to get, it's all right, man. <laughs> Watch you. Rockfish, we love you, brother. Thank you very much, bro. Peace. Thank you very much. Hey, listen, man, we appreciate I'm when you guys yell. Don't, don't ever apologize to yelling out for us, man. We appreciate you guys very, very much every single Sunday, and we love seeing you out here um, while we're fishing, too. So, as I was saying, those fish are down there sitting behind these pilings all the way down on the bottom using as little energy as possible. And when that bait goes by and they get they get, they get get that feeling, whoom, that's when they're gonna come out and attack it. But you gotta get it really, really close to the bottom and retrieve very, very slowly. So that's what we're doing. When you get snagged in the bottom, it's gonna be feel more like a, just a, a very subtle drag. When you hit the rocks or when you get caught in the grass that's on the bottom, it's just gonna kind of feel like it's dragging and gets kind of hung up. A rockfish bites it, it's gonna be boom, 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 really, really quickly, a couple of thumps. And that's when you wanna set your hook. There you got it. Come on, look at little fella. He was waiting for that bounce off the piling. <laughs> yep, we yeah, doubled up. Doubled up. Having some success at this one uh, area here, about halfway down the bridge, halfway between the east uh, main stand and the west side over here. And there we go. A couple of fish in that same size range, swimming together back there. And Diaper and just, stripers. Diaper stripers, he called them. Who came up with that name? Was it you or Sean? Sean. Sean. Sean, good name, man. These are diaper stripers. That means that they are still in the diapers. That's a little baby. <laughs> We're going to let them go. <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Sr. Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must-play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. 
For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore, available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu, including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. Don't just visit the beach, make it your home. Live the coastal lifestyle. Live by the water. Live by the catch. Live by the coastal culture. Live by your own rules. You have the right to choose your title company. Eastern Title is here to ensure that your coastal property is the right fit. We're here to simplify the transition from your favorite getaway into your new staycation home. Eastern Title. We close anywhere, anytime. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, that's a dink. Set up a diaper. Yep. Sorry, guys. Yep. Look at that. Okay, you get different size categories: diaper, striper, dink, football, like a snapper, chopper. Yep, snapper, bluefish, and the small ones, choppers, and the big ones. People call them gators. Gator. Well, see now, gators was always a trout with me. You get yep, the gator. That's why trout. I don't call bluefish gators. I, I call them. Uh, snappers and chop. Oh, yep, coming that way now. Okay, I'm clear. He's got a nice one. He's headed for that pillar. Yeah, yeah, buddy! Man, this is so much fun. You guys ever get sick of us watching us catch rockfish? Tough! <laughs> Man, that's awesome. I switched it up a little bit too. I switched to the white thingamajig, that salt and pepper body with the chartreuse tail. You can see it's even opaque. You can see through the body of it. Got that salt and pepper action with it, and that white head glows in the dark. Uh, the green head that we make also glows in the dark. Obviously, the red head does not, but um, it's a really, really effective rig. This works awesome. Roy rig is a staple when it comes to this rock fishing and blue fishing. How many species have you caught on, on the Roy rig bird? Eight or ten different species yeah, on the Roy ease, rig? Because he's even had sent them to the south and caught fish down in the south in South Carolina, places oh, like that. Boys of Florida love them for the um, yellow snapper and the tarpon. Snook and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's great, man. Great. And I'm loving this combo. We'll tell you more about this in an upcoming episode, but this is this new Canyon Reels 3500 that I got. Um, they're gonna have this combo in Sunset Provisions. Reel, rod, all of it as a package. They're working on it right now. They should have them in there in the next couple of weeks. We'll tell you more about that later. And you never know down this bridge where you're gonna hit a keeper. I'm, yeah, that's right. I mean, up and down yeah. the whole thing, I've caught keeper. Years and years and years ago, I was walking across this bridge for something in the fall, uh -huh. and I looked over the edge, and you can see it's only, oh, look at that, I gotta talk about it to catch it. I looked over the edge, and I'm guaranteeing you there were 40 and 50 inch rockfish just back there swimming in the current, um, and they were absolutely huge. And I knew the water was only a couple of feet deep where they were swimming. It was right about here, actually. Um, and they were huge, huge rockfish. Oh, the quick, quick release. Yep, there's one in there, Told you. He's headed for that wall. Come on. There you go. All right. Oh, yeah! Guys in the boat going by are kind of mad. <laughs> They didn't catch nothing down here, did they? They've been watching us. Yeah. Oh, I've had them come up and ask for a Roy rig. I'll give them one. Look, man, we're, we're telling you what to use. Bird, hold it up. Well, this is a little Roy. We're but... telling you what to use. We're showing you where to use it. And we're telling you how to use it. So, if you don't catch them, there's nothing much else you can do, right, Bird? 
Sometimes it's just bad luck. It, it's all about that it's tap. About that the, yeah. Because you'll feel that tap and he'll spit it right back out. And we are, we're both laughing. We've seen it. We yeah. watched a rod tip go ding and we missed it. It's happened to his face every time. Oh, yeah. But it's like right now the current's about running. So I've gone from my one ounce grub head down to a half ounce head because yep. if not, I'm just going to get hung on the bottom. You learn how to read the current. Now, when the current's running real hard, I'll let that one ounce sit right back there and just pop it. And you got to learn to read the current and learn the area a little bit. That's right. And I guess what I'm getting at is if you're using the stuff that we're using at these locations with the techniques that we're giving you advice on, stick with it. You're eventually going to catch fish. Man, I knew this. I love this angled spot, man. There he came back. Oh, he missed it again. Oh, you son of a gun. Poop. Yep, I knew that was that fish. There's a sure sign that you, you it wasn't the bottom, right? The sure sign that it wasn't the bottom. If you caught the bottom, you're more than likely going to have grass on here or something of that nature, but your, your shad body is not going to be messed up. If you had a fish bite it, the fish will a lot of times grab it like this and pull that shad down the hook, sometimes way off like this. That's a guarantee that that was a fish and not the bottom. Push it back up, try it again. Hold your pants down. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill, it's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland wear and carry permit. If you qualify, we can help. Public, private, and corporate events for training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. Welcome to Monogram Furniture. We've got your style and budget in mind with two locations in West Ocean City and Fenwick Island. Coastal, modern, contemporary, or casual, our knowledgeable design team will make your house into a home with the personal touches that set Monogram Furniture above the rest. Get the wow factor for your home at a price that can't be beaten. 12 months, 0% financing now available. We've also got your windows and doors covered with our custom blinds, shades, and shutters. Discover your style. Discover Monogram today. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Anglers Advantage time here at Atlantic Tackle in West Ocean City. We are directly on the Commercial Harbor. Ocean City Public Ramp is right down at the end of the street here. The Ocean City Inlet is behind you guys right now. And we have turned this way because it's real, real ugly that way today. Had a northeast blow for the past couple of days. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's all cleared up, but water may still be dirty in the, in the back in the back bay, so flounder fish is gonna be a little bit tough. What's one of the first things to come back after a blow? Rock fishing, blue fishing, shad in the Ocean City Inlet. Those should be no problem a couple of days after the water starts to clean up. Big Bird and I are having a great time doing it today. Here's the kind of stuff that you can get at Atlantic Tackle to put you on the fish as well. If you're gonna be looking for blue fish, shad, small rock fish, a couple of your standbys are gonna be gotcha plugs. You can throw these right into those schools of shad, breaking birds and have good luck. What's the hot ticket right now? Spec rigs anywhere from an eighth of an ounce up to a half an ounce. Most of the time we're gonna lean more toward a quarter ounce. That means that the rig itself is a half ounce total. Just like the thingamajig, you can cast it out there no problem. It's got two of them already rigged on there. You basically just tie that bad boy on there, start casting and retrieving, and you're gonna have some luck. 
One of the techniques that we're using today is called dredging, right? I think Big Bird gave it that name. And it's using like a 15 or 20 foot drop. It gets down there toward the bottom of the bay around those deeper spots in the Route 50 bridge and the channels and catching rockfish. Big Bird catches some big, big bluefish that way too. Atlantic Tackle has the X wrap that you can do that with. This is a 20 foot diver. These things are not inexpensive, guys, all right? You're gonna be anywhere between $15 and $25, depending on which one you get. They make less expensive versions, but these things are bulletproof. Um, you're not gonna get them back if you snag them on the bottom of the bay, so make sure if you're gonna do that technique, you try and perfect it before you start using this expensive stuff, but very, very effective. We caught that one fish that was just under legal size. The very next day, Big Bird and Sean caught a keeper on these using that dredging technique. All the other stuff we're doing, cast retrieve. We're hitting the sandbar, north jetty, south jetty, just outside of the Ocean City Inlet, around the fishing pier, and especially the Route 50 bridge. These are gonna be really, really good this year. Savage Gear came out with these Savage Salt Lures. That looks like a fish, man. There's no two ways about it. That looks like a little mullet, and that's what it's called. It's called the Pulse Tail Mullet. Ask for it by name, they're right across from the main counter here at checkout at Atlantic Tackle. Comes in several different colors. All of them look like little fish, except the one, which is this chartreuse. And if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. You know that's gonna be a really, really good one. Savage Gear is making some really great products inshore and offshore. And this is the Savage Salt Pulse Tail Mullet. That's gonna be a good one at the Route 50 Bridge as well. What are we using? I'm using the thingamajig, man. I had several people at the Ocean City Marlin Club flea market ask me for these. Red, Candy Red is on fire right now, catching a ton of fish on this one. The white head glows, comes with two replacement shads in there. And specifically today, I'm using this one. I'm using the green head, that also glows. Comes with two replacement shads in the packaging. And here's the kicker. I had all of the different heads with me and all of the different tails, and I can come up with all sorts of different combinations. At one point, I had run out of the green tail here and I had the green head on, but I put one of the salt and pepper chartreuse on. Looks absolutely amazing and caught a bunch of fish on that. So if you get all three packs of them, you've got endless combinations of colors that you can try when conditions change. Dirty water, you're gonna wanna use something bright. Sometimes toward, toward dusk or toward dawn, you're gonna wanna use something that might glow in the dark. All of these combinations are gonna work for you. And if you fish over on the Chesapeake Bay, this green-headed one with those couple, that thing was killing speckled trout, which we're starting to catch a couple of in our back bays here in Ocean City. So come by here, Ocean City, in West Ocean City, right across the street from Sunset Grill, right down the street from Sunset Provisions and Sunset Marina, Atlantic Tackle all day long. Please tell them that we sent you, 410-213-0421. See you in a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aquatraction Custom Design Marine Flooring products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aquatraction flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aquatraction has an unmatched three-year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out Aquatraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry. Combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory-trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marine in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? 
Why not? And now back for more Hooked on OC. This is my best one today. Oh, All right. We're not there. Back. Look how fat that thing is. That little turd. Yeah. Nice oh. fish, man. Yeah, big difference between this and those little little guys. There we go. Yeah, that's what we call a little football. Heavy fish, man. Heavy fish. That fish weighs a couple of pounds, man. Somewhere between three and four, but he, and he's just as short as some of those other ones we were catching, but much more stocky. This is the Scott Lennox version of a small rockfish. <laughs> oh, hey, all right, that's a weight. Little drag on that one, so bad. It ain't a diaper striper. Oh, this one's wearing shorts. Yeah, bird. Yeah, that's the best one of the day, buddy. All right. Nice fish, bud. Eee. Get a measurement on that thing. Just check them out. I'm going 25. One eight three. Okay. Overestimate. Look how fat he is. Though. That's why. Yeah. Nice fish, man. Oh. Water too. That thing was five feet down before you couldn't see him anymore. And that's just because he took off. And just because you had a limit. <laughs> yeah, oh, but then some. We'd have had your limit, my limit, John's limit, that guy walking across the bridge's limit, the guy drove by in that car's limit. <laughs> Chesapeake Bay is a different animal, man. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. As always, brother. <laughs> As always. I get uh, any <laughs> Anything you want to say to your adoring fans? <laughs> do you Roy Rig? No. Do you Roy Rig? Yeah, we do. Man. We yeah, do, man. and we catch fish with it. Um, 
Another great day with Big Bird today. No keeper rockfish. Had that one that was probably going to be 26, 27 inches um, on the dredge, you know, on that stretch. That's a pretty cool technique. And I hadn't done it that way before, where when you don't have any tide, you use the boat and manipulate it and do some, you know, some yanking and jerking and things like that to get that thing moving back and forth in the water column and, it, and entice the bite. So that was pretty cool doing it that way. Um, and then Roy Riggs and Thingamajigs on fire again today, catching a bunch of small rockfish. Um, saw one huge flounder. Yeah, <laughs> saw that huge flounder. That was pretty cool. Um, Justin was fishing outside the South Jetty here, and as we were going by looking for bluefish that have not arrived yet, the big choppers, um, he said, hey, I caught a, a big doormat on your rig. And sure enough, we pulled up to him, and he had a really nice flounder that he had just caught on a Roy rig outside the South Jetty. So as you can see, they catch lots and lots of different species. Uh, bluefish today, a shad today, plenty of rockfish today. And then Justin, the, the other guy, catches a nice flounder on a Roy rig today. If you need to get Roy rigs, don't forget those four places that they sell them. And it's really easy to go to our website and get them. We can, we'll ship them right to you. It's fishingoc.com. Hit the shop. Um, Roy rigs, thingamajigs, um, deadly doubles, double troubles, all kinds of stuff. So got some news coming with that too in the next couple of shows. We'll let you guys know about. No changes or anything big time, but something you'll want to be aware of. We'll let you know that in the next couple Whee! of episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, John. That's good footing. Um, anything else? Man? Oh, man. It's always great. We'll do this yeah. again. Oh, yeah. We'll do this again. Uh, you know I love you. When I, I love find, fishing When I you, find so. the big blues, I'm going to holler. That's you know? what it's, we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's when it's fun. When yeah. you're popping in 30-inch bluefish in every catch. Yeah. yeah. We're a little bit earlier than that, um, but you guys, if you watch the show for the past couple of years, we found them really good outside the South Jetty First a few years ago. With me. And it was in May. It was in May. So as the water warms up a little bit, we should start seeing some more of those bluefish and hopefully those big boys show up too because that was a lot of fun. Had a 33 oh, yeah. inch fish that day. Yeah. Um, but what a beautiful backdrop, man. We really love where we live. Uh -huh. um, big Bird's family, the croppers have been in the area for 200 plus years, I think you said at one yeah. point. Um, so nobody knows the area better than him. And I can't think of many people it's more fun to fish with. Oh, we make it fun. We make it a lot of fun. <laughs> Even some of his friends that watch the show from out of the area are like, are you guys really friends? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yes, we are. We're very good yeah, friends. big shoulders we're to fish very, with us. We're very good friends. But yeah, you got to have a tough Heaven skin forbid, to be on board. Heaven forbid I see you miss one. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> and I did today. Red 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 but we had a blast, and we will again in the next couple of weeks as soon as those big bluefish show up. We appreciate you watching every single Sunday. And like that guy did up on the Route 50 bridge, please don't hesitate to shout us out. We will talk to you anytime we can, even if we're fishing. Um, so please continue to do that. For Big Bird Cropper, I'm Scott Lennox. Thanks very much for watching this episode. See you next time. Peace out.